Hi, I'm Sam. Four years ago, I became a web developer, and before that, I studied music. Today, I'm going to share my story on how I became a web developer with no previous experience, and I'm going to give you some tips how you can do the same thing. I always liked solving problems or puzzles. I also liked being creative. Seeing my ideas come to life really excited me, and that's why I thought programming is such a fascinating topic. I also like being creative in music. So after finishing school, I debated whether to study computer engineering or music. I decided for music, but already during my studies, I started dabbling with web development a little bit. I played around with free tools and CMS like WordPress and Joomla and built very basic websites. I also tried free courses on the web, but never really had the perseverance to finish them. I got pretty overwhelmed by all the different technologies that people suggested to learn first. If you're just looking to get started, don't worry so much about server-side programming or frameworks or libraries. Just start with HTML and CSS. And once you got those basics down, then you can look into JavaScript. But don't worry too much about learning everything. Just get the basics right. I found the best way to learn a new technology is to learn just enough to get started and then immediately start building. You can learn the rest as you solve specific problems. But you will get demotivated very quickly if you try to learn all the theory first and then put it into practice later. Just learn by doing. Eventually I decided I wanted someone to help me learn. And most importantly, I wanted someone to tell me what curriculum I need to follow to know exactly what I need to know as a web developer. That's how I ended up with Career Foundry. To me, it was always important to be able to work on my own projects. I had lots of ideas and I wanted to see them come alive. It helps a lot if you have something that excites you, that motivates you. This gives you something to look forward to, to work towards. The nice thing about web development is that you really can go into anything these days. For me, it was full stack development because I wanted to be able to build prototypes for my ideas from scratch. Sometime after I finished my course with Career Foundry, I started mentoring new students. Working with them helped me see a lot of different motivators and subjects that people get excited about. Maybe you like visuals and like building things with CSS. Or you're excited about voice interfaces and want to build apps for Alexa or Google Home. Maybe you like to solve logical problems and you really want to get into backend development and writing algorithms. Or maybe you don't know really what you want to do yet and you get started with full stack development to get a broad overview over everything that's out there. You can always decide on a focus later. A big question a lot of new developers have is whether or not they need formal qualification. As you can see from my story, you don't need a background in tech or a computer science degree. Web development really is something that you can start learning from zero, as long as you have some patience and get excited about solving problems. Other than that, I don't think there's any particular prerequisite to becoming a web developer. Just make sure it is something you enjoy doing. If you're not sure, just start with one of the many free tutorials out there and get started learning HTML and CSS or do a free course on JavaScript with, that focuses more on the logical part of things. You've probably heard of Bootstrap, Angular, React, or Ruby on Rails. Those are frameworks and libraries that programmers use to actually make working with certain languages easier. So once you've got the basics down, you will soon be able to work with those. Being a web developer means constantly learning because the industry is always changing and moving forward. I didn't stick with the things that I learned in the course. I immediately started building different websites for clients. I played around with Angular and React, and I learned about serverless development. Recently, I worked on an application for the Google Assistant. The most important thing to me is always to have a specific project to work on, and within that project, you can try new technologies. The job market for web developers looks really good right now. As a lead engineer, it has been my job to hire new developers. Some things we pay attention to when we get applications from juniors is that they have relevant experience. Show projects with the technologies relevant to the job posting. If you've never used a particular technology, just look into it and show that you are a fast learner. Build a project just with that technology and put it into your portfolio before applying to the job. It is also very important to us that new candidates are aware of best practices such as separation of concerns. 
If they already know about common code design patterns, meaning best ways to organize your code, that is a huge plus. If they know about automated tests, and if you have used those tests in your portfolio projects, that really sets you apart from 99% of all the other junior applicants out there, and it will almost certainly get you a first interview. Generally pay attention to make your code look good and follow best practices. Write comments, make sure everything is indented correctly. Many people don't do this, so it's really easy to set yourself apart that way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please feel free to like and comment. We love to hear what you think. For even more knowledge and insight, sign up for our free short courses. See you next time.